Okay. Are you being forced to wear that? <gasps> Are you? I think that's a common question. Yeah. And I like curiosity. Yeah. That's a nice thing. But the element of ignorance just really winds me up. <gasps> oh my word. The absolute thought crime. How could anyone ever presume any Muslim woman anywhere would ever be forced to wear a hijab, a burqa, or a full ninja niqab? Oh. Oh, that's right, because millions of Muslim women are forced to wear the Islamic headdress in Muslim countries around the world, in countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran, where it's mandatory. Millions of women have had their identities literally shrouded when they were but teenage girls, if not by government decrees, then by familial honor codes, the sort of anti-woman pro-Sharia scarf honor codes, which have now been exported to Western countries, including Canada, where young girls' refusal to wear hijabs was part of the reason for their slaughter in the eyes of their Muslim brothers and fathers. But according to the BBC, well, I've got it all wrong. I think some women are actually having to fight to be able to wear it. Really? Women are fighting to have it? Where? Are, are, are we to feel compassion for people who wish to literally wear a face mask as these women are in the Western court of law, in, in their passport photos, while working in government jobs, perhaps on their gun licenses, or during their oath of citizenship to become part of a country where men and women are treated as equals. Sorry, ladies, you're not going to get any sympathy, at least not from me. You, you can be ingenious with arguments around expressions of religious freedom in a liberal democracy, but security risks a la face masks, they're a non-starter. <laughs> I think that's going to rile you up. You can't be a feminist and be wearing a burqa. If anybody was to say that to me, they would be like, oh, she's the biggest feminist you can find. I'm treated like the queen in my home. Yeah. And every woman should be treated like that. Now, the I'm a hijabi feminist, hear me roar arguments are really among my very favorite. Partially because it's become this left-wing trope and partially because it just couldn't be more obvious how totally oxymoronic the idea of a feminist wearing a niqab truly is. For example, the Western feminist stands quite rightly against things like domestic violence and violence against women. Well, according to the Muslim holy book, it is perfectly permissible for husbands to beat their wives. The, the feminist, well, she stands against so-called rape culture while Islamic nations regularly partake in victim blaming. Just this week, there was a 16-year-old girl who was sentenced to be raped. In several Muslim countries, it's common to throw rape victims in jail while allowing the rapist to remain free. That was a clip from my weekly show on the hunt here at the rebel.media, but to watch full episodes, you gotta pay. If you wanna subscribe, click here.